Lived in Malaysia for consistently the last three years. Before then, I was in Thailand, done a bit of time in, in Indonesia. Um, yes, many hats. Always ridden super bikes. Always been into motorcycle racing since a very young age. I think when I was 18, uh, 18, 19, I started racing on the track, and I found that uh, riding on the track was, to me, I enjoyed it much more than riding on the road. So I've been racing since. Where I started, I started in Australia. Luckily, we lived close to the Phillip Island track. Um, and then I started doing club racing, what we call club racing in Australia. You join like a, a racing club and then you join the series doing the racing. I started off, a friend of mine had a bike shop, a motorcycle shop, and I saw a bike there and went for one track day, went for a ride on the track day, and then after that, that was it. I took all, because you have the standard fairings, I took all the standard fairings off and uh, sold those to, to buy new wheels and that was it, it was all, it was gone from there. Earlier on the challenge was just to win, <laughs> but now I still want to win, uh -huh. but now the, the, the major challenge for me is how to improve every time I go out. To me, that's what, I, what, I'm, what I'm working on. Each time I go out, I try just to get better. I, ch I change little things and see what, what that uh, reaction that has to the bike. Um, it's all about improvements for me now. It's all about how I can get that little bit better each time. And fitness is one, it's a very important part of that. You can have a very fast bike. You can have a, an engine with 200, 220 horsepower. But if you're not fit and you cannot hold on to the bike, then it's pointless. Cycling gives me, um, of course, it's a, it's a great way to keep fit. I enjoy cycling. It's, it's on two wheels, which I enjoy. It gives me stamina. It gives me, it allows me to um, weight, what we call weight my foot peg, so I know where to shift my body weight. And it's all reactionary. And that's what it is like on a super bike. You haven't got time to think. I put my body here, put my body there. It's, it's split second, and cycling gives me that, that the same feeling. Um, I've always trained with cycling, um, but I normally do it just for fun. But now I'm taking it serious with, with, serious with uh, Jess, and he's actually starting to teach me the, the finer points. And, and I'll be perfectly honest, before taking this training, I thought I knew how to ride a bike. <laughs> and I thought, I, you know, I was riding a bike since I was, yeah. and I think no one can teach me anything more than what I know now. But it's not true. It really isn't true. He, you know, we go to the trails and he'll stop me and say, "Listen, Colin, you need to do this. You know, lean forward more. Get off the bike. Um, in certain situations, try this, and, and this will help you." And it really does. And from that, on a super bike, you need to move your weight forward. You need to move your weight back from side to side. And again, that's all reactionary. And so what Jason is teaching me here, I can take directly from here over into Superbike Road. Personally, I feel much fitter, yes. I, I feel, um, because he's working on, on my core, I, I feel that I'm much stronger in that area. Um, the next race is coming up in September, and, and we've started this about, uh, you know, about a, a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago. So the intention is to get fit for the September race. And I think there I start to really find out. In the race, we tend to be tense all the time. Mm. And something through this training is learning how to relax in 
the slower areas. I mean, when you're going downhill, okay, you need to be tense or you need to be active. When you get to a flat section, let your body go, let the blood come through your muscles, freshen your body up, ready for the next session. And this is what we need to do with super bikes as well. You, in the corners, you're always working the body, but on the straights, you need to learn to just relax, which is, sounds a bit strange when you're doing 280 kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you need to just relax a little bit to let the blood go through your body, freshen the body up, get ready for the corners again. The, I was thinking about this, I've thought about this quite a lot. I like you the tried both ends. Yes, the road, I like the road because you can get into a, into a rhythm mm -hmm. and you can get, get into a zone mm -hmm. and then you can just work that zone. Mm -hmm. and, and I like that. For me, on a super bike, it's the same thing. When I know I'm, a, I'm on a good lap, I feel, I, I, you know you're there, but you just feel everything is, is, is complete. And on a road bike, you know when you when you get into that rhythm, then okay, I can I can do this, and you can just work it. And I like that feeling. Mountain bike, what I like is a challenge because everything's reactionary. What do I prefer for? Prefer more? I mean, mountain biking only because I like the I just like the it's so different. Yeah, the bouncing around and, and, and it's up and down. Um, you've got to you've got to work to get get up the hills. And then down the hills, you you need to it's think very fast. Skillful. Yes, that's correct. Which, but both have their strengths. Both have their strengths. But personally, you just prefer mountain bike. That's yeah, all. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's we know you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit rougher. It's a little, yeah. you, you you have accidents. You fall off. Um, you just got to get up and, and go again. Mm. So yeah, I, I do. I do prefer.